Um, it's a delight to be back here in Cardiff. I think it's the first show we've put on here, a big show for it's a good five or six years um, since we since Joe Dale's taken from Kessler at the uh, Millennium Stadium. And on February the 25th at the Motor Point Arena here in Cardiff, Nathan Cleverly will de defend his WBO like heavyweight championship against Steve Carpence, Cobb, sorry, Tommy Cobb and Pence. Um, homecoming for Nathan. We're really pleased that uh, we can bring him back here. It's been a long time coming. He's not fought here for a long, long time. Um, I promised him after the fight in Liverpool that um, should he win the fight, which he did, that we would be back here, and here we are. So it's a chance for Wales to come out and see their new prince, the new champion, and to see him in action, um, and hopefully make it the first of many, many defences that we'll do here. Um, Tommy Kopensi is uh, a good fighter. If you look at his record, you will see that he's had uh, 24 fights, uh, one more fight than Nathan's had. He's a year older than Nathan. Um, they have a common opponent in Carol Murat, who he went to, to fight in Germany. If anybody see the fight that Nathan had with Murat, they know the caliber of what he is. A very, very tough fighter. He gave Nathan a really tough fight. And I think for the guy to go out there and uh, uh, go to Germany, answer he lost on points there um, shows that he's got obviously a good chin. He's never been stopped or on the canvas, so I'm told, as a professional. So, um, you know, it'd be a, a feather in Nathan's cap if he can be the first guy to stop him. He's also ranked in the cruiserweight division, uh, which means that he's a big guy. He says he can make the weight, but he's a much, much bigger guy than, uh, than uh, Nathan. So I'm expecting Nathan to have a tough fight, but it's a, a fight that will bring out the best of him and give him a sparkling um, homecoming here in Cardiff. His father's here. Vince, who trains him, and Nathan, if you've got any questions, please uh, ask them. Uh, Rob, they bring news 24. Um, have you seen much of the opponent um, on tape? Have I seen him? Uh, well, Nathan. Uh, I, I saw him when when I was studying the fight at Karamura um, back when was it last year. Yeah. Um, when I watched one of Murat's fights then I saw his opponent then, of course, Carbon C, um, who's now my opponent. And, you know, he's, he's a southpaw, so I've got to adapt to that um, southpaw stance. Um, he seems tough, rugged, strong, uh, but overall, I think, you know, he's he got a good style, which I can uh, look good against. Um, but I think, I, think, I think he will be, you know, quite tough to break down. If you remember, I think your toughest fight you had was Nathan uh, Ackles against the Southport. Yeah. Well, if you fight, you will also be uh, another title fight that we'll be announcing next week at the on Card, plus other fights. You've got um, some of the best of Wales' talent, uh, which uh, again, uh, get some exposure on this. This is big time boxing back in Wales. We're going to do this on a regular basis. As I say, another title fight, probably another two fights to be added to the card. So on the night, I'm expecting that we'll be promoting eight fights on the show. Uh, also on the, on the card will be Enzo Macronelli, and we'll be announcing his opponent next week. Uh, and we'll be holding a press conference for him as well. Nathan, presumably um, this fight is sort of all about you, isn't it, rather than who the opponent is? Um, yeah, yeah, basically. Um, that was the real idea of the fight, really. I, I never really worried who the opponent was. It was just a matter of of coming back to, to Wales and, and making a homecoming, really. Um, <coughs> it's been four years since I last boxed you. Um, so to come back as world champion um, and hopefully ignite Welsh boxing again. You know, it's been a long time. As, as I said, four years. So it's, it's a great opportunity now to bring Welsh boxing back and the glory days back. Hopefully I can spearhead that. I'm looking forward to it. So you'd be quite keen on this for one question? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, training well. Training much better for this fight than the belly fight, to be honest. So, um, preparation is going well. Um, and that's what I'm doing. I'm out to not only to win, but to put on a good display, exciting display. Um, uh, that's, you know, keep a good run of, of boxing in Wales for a, a number of years now. Do you see yourself as a sort of 
flag bearer now because some good youngsters coming through, but we haven't had. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Uh, it's, it's a great opportunity now for me to open the door for, for the youngsters to come through as well. If I'm going to be fighting uh, big world title fights uh, down here in the capital, then obviously you're going to have uh, a lot of Welsh talent coming through on the undercard um, and, and showcasing their skills as well. So it's, overall it's, it's, it's good for everyone. For Welsh boxing in general. Frank, what sort of, um, when you're negotiating these fights, what sort of draw now is Nathan and you're talking to people? Well, I think, you know, it's, everything's a building process. I mean, he's, <coughs> he's, uh, he's only had a few fights as champion, um, and we need now to, he says back down here, we need to establish and let the Welsh people see him. We've been taking him around the country. He's fought in a lot of places. He's shown his true character and grip. I, I believe by going to going into the Lions Den of Liverpool, and he won the fight there. And uh, and that was a tough call for him. I think you know for uh, as much even physically as far as the fight to so the mentally to go in there. It's a pretty um, hostile atmosphere, but he did what he had to do and, uh, and won the fight and, and and showed what he was made of. What's so important about this fight is that he looks good, he, he wins the fight. And we're in talks at the moment with Cardiff City. And we're looking uh, for early June to be doing an open air show down here. And it's all about um, Nathan, as I say, doing a good job. <coughs> then we can uh, look to be delivering uh, the Welsh fans a really big fight on, on his home soil. Hopkins? Sorry? Hopkins? He's, we've been really talked to, but you know, the problem we've got at the moment is because it's unfortunate when you think about Cardiff, all the facilities we, we, we've got here, and you look at other cities, but we're limited because the stadium, uh, CIO, only, only has about 4,500 capacity tickets that you can sell. So you're limited to what you can actually do as regarding uh, putting a big fight on. Summer's a different uh, situation for us because obviously we can go to the football stadium. Um, but we know that Nathan, if he fights outside the capital, and he has done, that he's fought in front of 10, 15,000 people in, uh, around, around the UK. Um, so we've got to really make sure that uh, he has a big fight, if it be Hopkin or even be a, uh, a unification match in um, June, and then hopefully another big one in September. That's what I'd like to be seeing happen, but obviously, but make sure this guy doesn't upset the plans. Nathan, are you um, at all frustrated perhaps at the end of the bigger fight yet, or are you happy to um, survive as well? I, no, I'm definitely not frustrated. Um, I'm happy with the way things have gone. Um, I just, I've got to realise sometimes that I'm only 24, um, so I've got plenty of time on my side. And I know the big fights will come, i just got to keep winning, keep putting on good display whenever possible um, and sooner or later the, the big fights will happen and, and that's what we're working towards just progressively we're getting there um, and you know just around the corner now from, from the big unification fights. Can I just say something you know you, people keep talking about big fights you know this time last year well not this time last year because he wasn't he was fighting in February for the vacant European title he won the title in September to, sorry, September two years ago, September 2010, and he's had, what was it four? He, he's had, he's, sorry, he won the title in December last year, and now here we are, a year later, three fights. He, he come up to his fourth fight. Now, I don't know any champion that goes in and has unification <coughs> matches straight away. Very rarely does it happen. It normally takes a number of years. We've been in negotiations to do this. As I said, we're limited by what we could do as far as uh, the venue is concerned down here. But um, and we're determined that when he does have the big fight, Nathan, it's in, in Cardiff. But I read all this stuff and I wonder what planet some people are on. You know, when you look over the years of, of British champions, how long it, and world champions, how long it took them to have unification fights, and did they actually want it? It's all very well, you know, people saying they want them. It's actually deep down in their heart. I've, I've sat down with fighters who said they wanted all these things, but when it comes to it, 
negotiating themselves out of it. Nathan does want it, but it's all about the right time and the right moment. And he still needs experience, because I think you've only seen 80% of them. There's a lot more to come from Nathan Cleverly, and there's a lot more to be, you know, to a lot more exciting nights ahead. And it's all about him picking up experience, gaining confidence. I know he's confident, but even more confident, and about when we do make these fights, that he wins them, not just about getting into a peeing contest, it's about winning the titles, unifying them, and going on and doing bigger and better things. And he's capable of doing that, he's got a good trainer, he's got a good team around him, and it's my job to ensure those, those, those fights happen at the right time. And that's why we're here. So all that negativity that surrounds it, and I read some of these, these people, um, what's it called, uh, this Twitter stuff that they do these days, which is a bit beyond me, but anyway, they do the Twitter stuff. And I read it and I just wonder what planet they're on sometimes. You know, it's, uh, it's amazing. This, this, this guy, everybody should be proud of what he's done. He's, done, he's, he's had a very frustrating time over Bramer. It took us all that time to get to a stage where we got a contract signed with Bramer. And then for him to pull out like he did at short notice caused all sorts of problems. Um, but we, you know, he kept focus and he did what he had to do. It showed a lot about his character. And I just feel that, you know, that's what people should be focusing on is what, you know, where he's at, what he's done in a short space of time. He won the British Commonwealth and European title fights quicker than John Conti did. And there's a name to be compared with. But he did it quicker than them. So, you know, just look at the facts rather than what people, you know, put out and what they got, you know, these ridiculous comments. You know, he's, he's doing the right thing. He's got a homecoming fight now and he's entitled to his big night. You know, people should come out and celebrate that, that Wales have got a really top quality world champion who's going to go on and do better things. They're going to carry the Welsh flag and, and the British flag, provided we don't get any um, referendums down here. But we go on and, 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 and you know, show the world that we, you know, we, you know, we've got some good fighters. We've got some great fighters. Wales got got fighters to be proud of. And you know, he's the guy. And I'm telling you, he's a quality fighter. He's a good fighter. And I'm one of the, one of the better fighters that I've been involved with over the years. And I think he's going to go on and show show uh, some, some, some fantastic nights and give some fantastic, fantastic experiences to the fans over the next few years. So they should celebrate. Be there on the night. Watch it live on Box Nation. It's another great night on Box Nation. Just watch it. See Nathan Cleverly in action. Because it's going to be a short period of time. We're going to be down here. And then he will be traveling. He'll be going over to the States and going to places um, where people have to fall count and jump on aeroplanes to watch him fight. So if you want to see him in Wales, grab your chance now, grab the opportunity and see one of the best young fighters that Wales have had for a long, long time. Nathan, you surprised that your Britain's only world champion? Um, Not surprised that you're a world champion, I'm surprised that you're yeah, a world champion. Um, well, Mia Campbell's Rob. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I just, Rob, I'm really so sorry. We won't talk much about it. Obviously, I just showed how tough boxing is. Uh, one moment you can be on top of the world, and the next moment you know you lose your world title. So you've got to be on the game. Um, you've got to be on the ball at all times. Um, and it's, it's it's a good feeling actually to be uh, the only world champion in Britain now. But I'm just going to use that as um, as motivation. Um, and it's just working, you know, I'm, I'm enjoying my training, I'm training well, focused, um, and just, uh, as I said, use as a, a good inspiration. Really. Frank, bear in mind that um, Nathan is the last, we say, the British champions, and so many have lost their belts last year. Is there an element of protection when organising fights for Nathan? Not at all. Look, I can't help for other people what they do, and if they, you know, you talk about protection, if somebody's stupid enough because of money to go into Washington, and that's what they chose to do, and everybody was happy going into the fight, and then, then you, you hear the complaints about the referee, this and that, whatever. And we've heard it 10,000 times now, it's becoming a boring story. There was nothing in that fight. There was nothing in that fight. That was down to them. It's not overprotection. They thought that was going to be an easy night. You know, was, it, was I being overprotective of Nathan to go to Liverpool to fight Tony Bellew in a tough fight you know, again, before the fight, all the usual nonsense you get from the doubters. I knew that was going to be a tough fight for him. He went into the other guy's backyard and did what he had to do. There's no overprotection. I've just explained to you 
you know, to make big fights, you need big venues. Now, you're either going to travel as a Welshman, you want to watch him in Cardiff, this is the only venue available this time of the year. So you either want to watch him here, or if you want to come down to London, or you want to come back to Liverpool, or you want to go up to Newcastle or Scotland where they've got big venues, you can do all that. We're trying to bring him down here, bring him back here, and deliver the best we can with the finances that are available on that show. He's here, he's had a couple of tough fights in his last few fights. He's had, was it the, when he, uh, when, when Bramer was out, he had, was it three opponents in three days to focus and get rid of You know, give him a break. This ain't no walkover. This guy's never been on the floor, he's never stopped. You know, he's gonna have to be at his best and, and hopefully he'll look, at, he'll look a million dollars doing it. And as for overprotection, I tell you something, a few of those guys wish I was promoting them, they might still be world champions. You know, I certainly wouldn't have made a couple of the matches that we made. Um, and as for Carl Frott, you know, he got found out. You either got a defence or you haven't got a defence. In fourth wall, he got found out. But you know what? Come and fight Nathan. Come and step up the weight and fight him. I'd, I'd take that in a heartbeat, that fight. We'd do that in June. If Carl Frott wants that in June, forget all the others, let's have that and you'll see a better performance. He's made for Nathan. I'd make that fight in the middle years. And remember, you're all forgetting about Ricky Burns as well. He's in trip title, but he will be declared full champion. At the moment, we've got one full champion, we're going to have two. And it's no coincidence they're with me, because I, I believe I know what I'm doing. Most of the champions that have come out of Wales over the recent years, have, you know, I've, helped, I've had a hand in, 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 in being involved in them, developing them, and bringing them through. And as I said to you earlier, you know, Nathan's one of the best. He's up there with Joe Kawasaki, well up there with him. And he, could, he, he may even go on and emulate what Joe did. Nathan, would you fancy Carl Frog? Sorry? Nathan, would you fancy him? Do you fight with Carl? Yeah, why not? Why not? Um, I know he's, he's mentioned it before in previous interviews. Um, I just, it's a fight that I suppose can be quite easily made. Two British guys, um, world title on the line. So why not? It sort of parallels with the Bellew fight. He's a great talker. Um, he's a great what? He's a great talker, Frosh. Sorry, I didn't hear. He's a great talker. He Cork. talks. He talks a good yeah, fight. Yeah, he talks. He talks a good fight. <coughs> he, 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 and for me, he's a perfect opponent. Oh, do we have a question? Oh, that fight in. Uh, Bit enough for Chad Dawson or Well, Chad Dawson, I mean, again, we're in the same situation here with the venue, the size of the venue. Plus, these guys are not ready. They're not ready for fighting. So, so we're either going to sit around waiting for something to happen, or he's not going to be busy. This is the. You've got. If somebody, I don't know if you guys got copies of the ratings. Have a look at the ratings. Look down at the ratings, and I'd like you to show me that we've not done the best we can. We've done the best we can. This is it. This guy will come to fight, and I'm telling you, you'll get a fight on the night out. But, you know, this is all about a learning process. This is about building, as I say, building, um, and I'll repeat myself, building Nathan's profile here in Cardiff and giving the fans a chance down here to see their man in action, the own Britain's only world champion in action in Cardiff. That's why we're here. Do you think uh, John Pascal will be another good fight? We offered him to fight, but he's got something. <coughs> they, don't to come out, they don't want to come out of Canada. You know, there's a lot, all those fights, Every one of those names you're talking about, I'm telling you, he will fight at least two of those this year. That will happen. That will definitely happen. And he will win the fights. He will win the fights. You know, you want to celebrate what you've got, got him, Nathan. You know, well, Wales, as I'm saying, should be proud of him. He is a quality fighter. He's a good fighter. <coughs> I've, I've got one little problem with him where he lets his heart rule his head sometimes, and he has a tear up, but I know he can make it a bit easier for himself. But well, that's the nature of the beast, and that's his fighting heart. And uh, you know, he's got a great chin. You know, he's, he's, a, he's the full package, and he's getting better in every fight. The more and more experienced, the more fights he gets under his belt, the better fighter he's going to become. Are we all done? Lovely. Thanks very much for coming along. And next week, the same will be announced in the other title fight and uh, Enzo's opponent. Thank you. Thank you.